Reno. You know that bitch has not called me back even though I've texted her like a hundred times. Well, she was probably partying with her mom and they both OD. Oh. <laughs> now, is that nice? No, but I like it. <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> it's too You need to That's stop it. <laughs> Concerned about Michael Stein's fair entry without our help. Well, honey, we're gonna get through this. I just wish we knew what he was working on. Got an idea. crap out of me. How long have you been standing there? Not long enough, apparently. What do you got? Someone to hide there? <laughs> Just doing my project. You know, your mom uh, spoke to Marty's mom. Apparently, you're causing quite a stir among your fellow science hounds. I guess. Well, that's great, son. If you don't have the cards, you you always got the bluff. Dad, I don't want anyone messing it up. You know, your old man uh, has a pretty decent reputation in the scientific world. Would you like any help? That wouldn't be fair to the other students, because it's a student science fair. Well, parents always help. No, they don't. OK. OK. I hear you loud and clear. Um, just try to remember the uh, the three Fs, son, okay? Form follows function. Form follows function. Got it? Okay. 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 Good night, son. Hi. Hey. I haven't seen you at school for like a couple of weeks or something. Yeah, uh, I haven't really been going. Were you, were you sick? No. Just didn't feel like going. I wish I'd get away with that. I've been forging my mom's signature since I was 13. And when Wood or Lipschitz calls my mom at her work, somehow my cell phone rings. No way. Yeah, I was like, Nancy Donaldson here. I'm either away from my desk or I'm on the other line with a client. But I leave your name and number and I'll get right back to you. <gasps> Have a nice day. That's awesome. Have a nice day. What's in the bag, Peck? Nothing. What's in yours? I asked you first. Peck. Um, this is just some more stuff I got from the hardware store for the stupid science thing next week. Batteries for your butt plug. What are you doing? Picking up your Prozac or something? No, I took the last of my mom's Ambien, so she makes me refill her prescription. Like a bitch. I gotta go, my mom. Heck, I can give you a ride if you want. You were supposed to meet me out front, mister. Now get in the car and let's go. Um, I, I got a ride from a friend. The young lady? Friend or a girlfriend?
friend. Well, that's something, anyway. Oh. Here. No receipt? I didn't use it, so... Well, you shouldn't have to pay for school projects with your own money. It's like 30 or something. 30 is good. I'm still gonna need the receipt. Never mind, then. You're being obstinate. So this, um, friend, does she have a name? Emily. Emily? Emily what? Do I know her parents? I don't think they're libertarians. Hmm. Now you're being sarcastic. I'm sorry I pissed you off that time in your car wasn't laughing at you. No, I'm sorry. I was having a really bad day, and it just turned into a lot of bad days. I really shouldn't notice them anymore unless they're really bad. <laughs> Tell me about it. You? Yeah, right. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, sorry. Bullshit, Peck. What's that supposed to mean? I, I don't know. I mean... We probably have different types of bad days. I mean, for you, it's breaking a nail. For me, it's getting swirlies. And you don't know me, Peck. God. You don't know a fucking thing about me. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that you're... What? What, Peck? I'm like, what? You're like... Perfect. Quit being so serious and say something funny. Um, what do you, what do you call a fish with no eye? How <laughs> no, stupid. Peck. Yeah? You wanna get high with me? Trendy fake martini drinker. Not huh, back? Probably like an apple fag teeny or something. Uh, I don't know. Like a, a douche teeny because you're a pussy? Yeah, light on the vinegar and water. Gross. Hey, so you know one of the cool things about having a mom like mine is that she stocks up in every type of liquor known to mankind. My parents measured the booze with the micrometer. What? It's, um, it's a scientific instrument that uh, measures down to ten thousands of a meter, so they could tell if a like, drop was missing. I know what a micrometer is, Pat Cole. I just can't believe that. Yeah. Come to my house and I'll prove it. See what it's like living under a freaking microscope. Hey, how about a Harvey Wallbanger, just because it sounds really stupid? Uh. Ew. Liqueur. I'm just gonna get a beer. Do you want one? We'll just take him up to my room. Jesus, Peck, relax. 